How y'all doing? I'm all right, I'm all right. Any questions? How, how different is it for you to be here, with, obviously with the contract now, as opposed to last year? No different. No different? Nah, I mean, I, the new number, so I mean, that feels a little different, but as far as the contract goes, that doesn't change how I move or how I go about doing things out on the field. So, I mean, everything feels the same for me. What about, what about the certainty, though? Like, the certainty of knowing you're going to be here and you're going to be one of the key guys Excuse me. involved in overseeing the future here. Does that change anything for you as far as your, your role, your stature? No, nah, I mean, I feel like it's easier for the outside to look at, like, my role on this team differently now that that's the case. But, I mean, for me, my role has been pretty consistent through through the years, I feel like. I mean, again, I take – what I do very seriously, I have a lot of pride in what I do, and I feel like for me, one of the biggest things is being a good person, being a good human, and it doesn't matter the regime, it doesn't matter the contract, it doesn't matter my status or whatever people may think I have. I mean, at the end of the day, I come, come in here and I, and I work, and I'm a good teammate. I mean, I take care of the people around me. I'm respectful around the building. I mean, none of that changes because of a contract, and I mean, the, the certainty, yeah, but I mean, the contract don't get, stop you from getting traded, so I mean, there's really no... No certainty. I mean, at the end of the day, the the money is there. Of course, the money's guaranteed. But as far as certainty goes, there to me, you're you're nobody's expendable or not expendable. Before you what said, do you like? What do you like about wearing the number one? I mean, it feels like home for one. I wore it in high school. Well, wore it in middle school, then high school, and then of course in college. So I mean, just coming back home feels good, and I feel like it it looks good as well. What is the energy like around the defense right now? You guys are loud. You're mm -hmm. aggressive. What what's it like to be a part of that? I mean, honestly, I feel like it's it's a blessing just to see how far I feel like we've came. Um, I think too, just last year, leaving a lot on the table early in the season, and now being able to pick off where we left off at last year, I think is it, is a good feeling. I feel like even adding, of course, Kevin coming in here and adding his veteran um, IQ to the game, just calling out things, allowing us to play faster, us being on the same page. I feel like for me too, having him now instead of Eddie, I feel like it's been a very smooth transition, just coming in and building and talking about how we want to play certain things, how he sees it. I mean, we see a lot of the game the same way. So I think just on that part and then just also, too, getting everybody back together, back, like I said, back where we left off at. So, I mean, it's a lot of energy out there for us to have, and I think we can definitely take it up a few notches this year, and then we're going to have a good offense to go against and make us better. So I think we're very excited for the opportunity in practice and for this upcoming year. You said before how you come since the – first year of Ryan Poles and this rebuild that has been going on. Do you think about that as well, the attention that this team is getting, the expectations? You're saying how far we've come or yeah. I've come? We've, yeah. uh, have I thought about it? No, I mean, I feel like it's it just goes fast, I think, for me to just staying in the moment. I think not really looking too far ahead and not looking too far back. I feel like just staying, staying where my feet are, being where my feet are, um, I think it's – for me, just a situation where I'm just happy to be where I'm at right now. And I feel like I haven't really looked at it from a team perspective. I know one thing that hasn't left my mind is the amount of wins that we have. Um, so I think for me, that's that's what I'm focused on is winning. I feel like we haven't, I'm not even going to say under this regime, but since I've been in the building, we haven't had, to me, a winning season yet. So I think that's the, that's the biggest step for me is just to try to get as many wins as possible this year, trying to get 10 wins, trying to get to the playoffs, get some things that, I feel like this building hasn't had I, for me since I've been here. Jalen, I know getting that new contract was a the security of it was a big goal mm -hmm. for you. What, so what motivates you now that you have? Being the best corner in the league. What, you know, what specifically about your own growth? When you look at the, the question that Mark was asking you about the team's growth, but what about when you look at your own growth? What did you, what do you see in your game now? that stands out to you is, oh, I've really refined this. I've really honed this part of my game. <sighs> what part? I would say one, IQ, and two, I would say consistency. I think, because I feel like I've always been talented physically. I think now kind of just getting more reps, seeing things different, talking to guys, seeing just being able to see the game from a wider lens, I feel like you come in as a rookie and you're kind of developing, you come in with a narrow lens. And now that for me being in my fifth year, I can open my lens and see things that I couldn't see before in my previous years. I'm pretty comfortable with route concepts, kind of just how offenses go about doing things. I feel like kind of just now finding finding that rhythm again, getting back in into it in minicamp. But I feel like for me, there's 
I'm on a different level. I fight mentally, and then I fight the consistency part just comes in with honing in on my technique, and that's something I take extreme pride in. Um, of course, in the off season, and then this these next few weeks going and preparing for camp, I feel like I'm gonna come in better than I've ever ever have just because of my preparation, um, just the way that I've been able to grow mentally, um, spiritually, in all aspects. I mean, I feel like really just like I said, just my IQ and then my consistent growth. What is it like the being and energy of this defense? How have you guys helped prepare Caleb Williams? Because I know you've said yourself in the past you want to make sure that he's ready based to right. going against a top five defense in the NFL. How has this defense and you specifically helped give him some love and some rookie, some rookie attention, to say the least? How? Um, I think really just the biggest thing I feel like that I've learned um, as I've gotten older in this league is giving rookies different looks. Um, and I think we do a good job of that, of trying to really confuse them at practice. And not even just because it's him, but just as a defense, you want to be able to confuse quarterbacks. And I think that's the biggest thing that comes with being a rookie quarterback is being able to um, analyze what the defense is in. And then I feel like from there, I feel like it's easier to make the right reads, but it's a lot harder when you're doing that in the middle of your drop instead of at the line of scrimmage. So I think for us, just trying to give them different looks. And then, of course, throughout the duration of the plays, we always want to be sticky in coverage, um, be in the right spots when it comes to our underneath droppers and things like that. So I think for us, really just doing we what, what we do. And I think that's, like I said, giving different looks and being sticky in coverage and having a heck of a rush. From your, perspective, from your perspective, how far along do you think he is in his learning curve from where you guys first got on the field a couple weeks ago to where, you know, today where he's at? Because it seems like he's a, he doesn't have – I guess, trepidation of testing out his arm a little bit against you guys? Honestly, that's hard for me to answer. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to give you a made-up answer. I feel like it's, it's hard to tell because, again, I feel like we're all getting back in the groove of things. And I feel like for me, I'm, I've really only been watching myself in the defense and just what I can do personally um, to just get back where I want to be. But, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to just give you a true answer on that. Does it feel like with this defense, so now that you don't have a rookie to break in with, you know, Tyreek now being another year in this, do you feel like you guys can hit the ground running a little bit quicker than maybe last year? Definitely. I feel like that's, that's our goal, really, and I feel like that's why we're so excited, just to be able to come in with a sense of momentum, um, not having really too many guys that, I mean, Kevin, of course, is new, but he's been in the league for a long time, so he knows how to play the game and he can learn. But I feel like just having – Consistency, I feel like within the guys, guys having a certain level of experience and a certain level of hungerness and everybody just understanding what the standard is and what we want to accomplish, I feel like that allows us to play a lot faster, play a lot smarter, um, like you said, to your point. You know, Identity-wise, you guys have shown an ability defensively to, to make plays and then make noise. I'm sure yes. from, from your standpoint, what the value of having a loud defense is. I feel like it's intimidating. I mean, I feel like it's one thing to make plays, but I feel like when you're, like you said, being loud, when you're talking after every play, that you, you really start to see if, if somebody's going to stand up or if they're going to fold. And I feel like with, of course, execution, I feel like comes energy. So I feel like for us, in order to have that energy, we got to execute. But I feel like with, with the combination of both, I feel like you can definitely make teams fold. I feel like we, we showed some flashes that last year where – we were dominating, we were able to talk, and we kind of seen how people started responding back. And then like for us, just being able to keep that foot on the gas and just really finish teams off. You played against a lot of quarterbacks in this league. Mm -hmm. Enough to know, like, this dude is nice, this dude is not nice. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you've seen from Caleb early on that's like, you know, that's different, that's, that's nice? Mm, that's, I would say touch. I would say to touch on some of his passes, I feel like to come in early doing that. Um, I think it's – it's really hard to say because like you see it in college, so it's like now you're kind of seeing up up close and it's like okay, that's what that's what they were talking about. But I think he, I, not even I think I know he has a, a special arm um, when it just comes to touch ball position. I feel like especially the first day, I think it was OTAs, he was fitting some seam passes in that were pretty. I was like okay, he he's putting those right over the defender's head. So I was like he got a he got a good um, sense of touch, a good sense of ball placement. I feel like though that stood out the most. In training camp, of, in training camp of this year, or last you said year, in training camp, training camp last year, you guys were talking about how you felt like you were on the verge of something, as a, mm -hmm. defensively. And how does it feel different now that it feels like you kind of got to it, at least where you wanted to go to a little bit toward the end of last year, and, and now can build on that? I feel like it's hard to say. I feel like it's one of those things where we come in for the most part. Everybody comes in healthy. We all come in with a sense of energy. We go through camp and you're competing and you feel good. And then I feel like 
depending on the team, adversity hits you in different ways. And I feel like ours hit us early. I feel like we had some key injuries um, early. We didn't have all our guys together. And then, of course, I feel like we didn't get healthy until the back end of the season. Then we added Montez, and I feel like then that's when we really took off. So I think for us it's wanting to, of course, get better as a unit, but I think, too, also we, we want to be able to have – longevity in the game and being able to play and being available because I feel like we have a very special defense, but I feel like we're only going to be as special as our health allows us to be. If, I mean, we can all go out there and be healthy, then I feel like we'll definitely be a special defense from start to finish. But I feel like, I mean, of course, you can't necessarily stop injuries from happening, but I feel like the healthier we are going into season, I think it'll be it, it'll be nothing less than a, a great defense. Yeah, what's what's what? different for you being part of this defense? versus the one that you walked into when you were a rookie, which was also very good. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of guys that were here as opposed to this one. You've been part of it basically from the ground up. And you're saying what's the difference for yeah. me? What, what feels different about this as opposed to when you step into a team that's got Hicks and Mack and Eddie Jackson and all these guys already in place? I mean, it's hard because that's, I mean, that's a completely different dynamic with myself coming into the situation versus being one of those pieces that you mentioned when you're talking about the a great defense. I think, ooh, how would I explain that? I think really just, I feel like now, I feel like the biggest difference is you have to kind of prove yourself as a rookie that you belong in, in that room and that talk. And I feel like that was one of the biggest things that I was trying to do. I feel like just come in and prove myself. I feel like now it's a situation where everybody's pretty much like proven. And like, I mean, to, the question earlier, everybody, nobody's new. Nobody's really a rookie. Nobody has improved himself, and everybody has skin in the game, and everybody knows what we can do. I feel like for me in that situation, it was something where I had a lot to prove um, and pretty much just prove that I had some value on, on the defense and I had value on the field. But I think really this unit, I think from what I'm able to feel for the most part is we're a lot um, closer as far as relationship goes. Um, I feel like having those older guys, I feel like it's not – as much cont continuity, I feel like for us now, I feel like we all we hang out a lot more um, than than before. I know my rookie year we didn't go. I mean, it was COVID too, so I mean we weren't just having so many barbecues and cookouts. But I think too, just being a lot a lot closer this year um, with this defense again, having a lot of guys back again. When Kyler mentioned the benchmark of trying to get twenty interceptions and twenty fumble recoveries. Where did that originate? I mean. Quite honestly, I'm not sure I wasn't here for the whole entire offseason, so I don't know where this the number came from. But, I mean, how many did we have last year? How many interceptions did we have last year? 22 last 22? year. 22? I mean, so, yeah, it's not like we're saying anything that hasn't been done or that can't be done. I think it's very doable. I mean, and I dropped two. We could have had 24. <laughs> has, it been, has it been energizing for you, Keenan, Rome, Caleb's, this level of competition? Has it been energizing for me? Yeah, for sure. I mean, of course, just the competitive nature in me just having to go against, I'm going to say more so um, Keenan. I mean, of course, I'm, I went against DJ last year, so not so much a, a new thing, but more so being able to see a guy like that, kind of talk to him about certain things that he does and the reason why he does certain things, I feel like it's definitely exciting for, for me. And then to truly be able to go against it, because I feel like he's, He's a receiver that's unpredictable, and I feel like as skillful a lot of these guys are in the league that do a lot of great things. I feel like they're not as um, they're not as unpredictable, not as, as crafty as I feel like Keenan is. So being able to go against that every day, I think, is something that can definitely help me and the DBs to to get better. And then of course Rome coming in and finding his way. Um, I feel like more so mentally, and then I feel like letting his instincts and his his physical being take over after that. Um, and then, of course, DJ is, is DJ. He's he's a playmaker. So, I mean, I feel like for me, just every time I come out, especially for camp, I know I'm going to be ready to go for sure. Jalen, having battled what you did last year and getting all of the off-the-field stuff in order for you, do you feel lighter coming in here now? Do you feel like you're, it will translate on the field as well now that everything's going on, on the field? I feel lighter. Uh, yeah, I would say so. I mean, even with – Doing that, I mean, to me, life never stops life. So, I mean, there's there's just new new challenges, new things to go on. I mean, I just got engaged, having a baby on the way. So, I mean, I got plenty more obstacles that still keep a little, a little pressure on my shoulders. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like God gives me the strength to overcome any obstacle that I have. So anything that comes in my life, I feel like I have full uh, strength and endurance to be able to get through it. I mean, 
it's just, it, certain things just come in, in season. So, I mean, just for me, this is a whole new season, mentally, of course, physically for this season. Um, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I don't know what's to come, and whatever it is, I know I'll be good through it. We're not going to end on that one, but I'll go with Dallas. <laughs> Jalen, as far as Rome's concerned, as someone who's faced the best receivers in the NFL, mm -hmm. what strikes you about his talent and potential? That I've seen in person or just in general? Either one. Uh, I would probably say his contested catch, I feel like, is pretty, is pretty good. Um, I know a lot of the highlights that I've seen, of course, in college were him going up top and making some very good contested catches. Um, even against some of my youth, there were some, some pretty dang good catches he made. But really just watching the game, I feel like he's one of he I feel like he's truly a, like a gamer when the ball when the lights come on it's time to go. I feel like he he's the one to make a play. And I feel like he showed that in college and I feel like now just showing flashes of him making plays in the air when the ball's in the air, him going and getting and making those tough catches. I feel like that's something he's gonna really bring and add a lot of value to our team. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. What's up, y'all? Hey John. Yeah, how you guys doing? Keenan yesterday said that you guys look like a top five defense. Uh, uh, what's your reaction to that? And can you say that about a defense as you? Um, I'm all about proving it. So um, we can say a lot of things, but uh, I will say that, that I definitely feel a lot from the defense as far as chemistry, energy, and uh, just the type of timing that we're on. So um, for us all to be on the same page and uh, you know take a step further than last year, you know I just I picture a lot of things for us in the future. So uh, I'm just excited. Yeah, Three definitely. Of you in the secondary have now been in the system for three years. Like, what's the most tangible thing that you feel just with that experience between, I mean, especially you, Jalen, and Jaquan? Yeah, I mean, I just trust, really. So whether whatever play it is, whatever situation it is, you know, we've built that bond and just kind of know what each other, like, our, pre our play styles are and who's going to do what and uh, just kind of knowing that uh, the, the dependability um, on each other to do what they're going to do just because we do it at practice, knowing that they're going to do it in the game and stuff like that. So um, being able to do that for an extended period of time just feels like we're just going to keep getting flawless at it. So, yeah. What's your next, like, when you look at this defense, what's next? How do you go from good to great? Yeah. Um, I feel like the biggest thing for me and what we all talk about is just takeaways, more than takeaways. So um, I'm going to have the goal of 20 and 20, uh, 20 INTs, 20 fumbles, however we got to get it, going to get it. And, um, you know, that's just kind of the standard that we put ourselves to, that we all hold each other to, and, uh, yeah. Watching you and Kingdom on the slide, it's like iron shopping your iron. What do you think you can learn just having that matchup when he does come on the slide on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah. Um, for me, with him, uh, already so far, like, I feel like for him, you know, uh, he's going to keep me disciplined and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, he's a quick touch dude as well. You know, I got a really good release and uh, get off and stuff like that. So, for me, you know, you know, staying disciplined the whole entire time. Uh, another thing for him, you know, he's very efficient with his steps that he takes um, and doing what he does. And so for me, that makes me have to be even more efficient with my steps and uh, not take as many or just be smooth or come out the break or I read it right uh, versus the stem or whatever it might be. Uh, so I, I'm excited to keep battling him and uh, and keep getting better with him. Yeah. You mentioned the energy that you're feeling from the defense. How would you describe what that feels like right now, knowing that you guys are kind of building off of what you finished last year. Yeah, it really just feels like a giant buildup. It just feels like bigger and bigger every day. The more we hang out, the more we play ball together, the more we do anything together. Like everyone's just on the same type of time. And like, who can make the next play? Who can do this? Who can do that? Like, and we know what we want to be. And so, you know, the expectation is high for ourselves that we, you know we put our standards all the way up there. So, uh, you can just feel it every day at practice. So, yeah. Is that a big value is of, of having a group that? has that build up, but can also be loud about it and, yeah. and create a little bit more to it. Yeah, it's intimidating, like, for other people. You know, people constantly getting hit, constantly run to the ball, all 11 hats, uh, loud, uh, communicating loud. I just feel like, you know, like, what are they doing, you know? So um, I love it. Everyone's saying something every day. Some got some type of energy everywhere, so I, I like it. Yeah, that's the type of system I want to be in. What are your impressions of Caleb so far? Uh, I like him a lot. Uh, I think his arm talent shows immediately. Um, you know, he's very poised. Uh, you know, he's just learning every single day, you know, chipping away and slowly getting better. And uh, we know we're all surrounding him. Uh, you know, he's young and stuff like that. But, you know, he holds himself nice and, uh, you know, excited to, excited to see him play. What was it like for you uh, when you found out a fellow Husky was drafted? I was excited. You know, I, lo I love my Huskies. You know, we got four here now. And so, uh, you know, slowly getting more and more. But, you know, I love Rome. I played two years with him. I see him do amazing things, young and grow, and he's progressed so much and stuff. Um, yeah, I love dogs, you know, you know what it is.
<laughs> Did you have any sense when you were playing with him a few years ago that he could be what he's become? For sure. I, I remember my his freshman year, uh, I forget, against Wazoo, um, Odell, back of the end zone, just one hand, like freshman, we've never seen, like, you know, he's long, lanky, got some speed in him. So um, from then I'm like, yeah, he's going he gonna to be one of our guys here at UW. And, uh, you know, he's just grown so much. Kyler, you mentioned turnovers being something you want to work on. As an individual, what are some of the little things you can do to foster those? Yeah, um, kind of like what I was saying a little earlier, like being efficient, you know, not taking too many steps, getting on the breaks, or um, reading run pass a little better, or uh, getting eyes on the QB and breaking before you about to throw the ball and anticipating things. And that all comes from, like, film and, uh, you know, being out there a little more and just feeling it and seeing it. And I definitely feel like I feel way more than I ever felt uh, just instinct-wise and uh, just being out there and just feeling everything in my zone and stuff like that. So um, those small things and just, you know, corrections every day. You know, I'm always taking notes some t uh, in film, just trying to get some type of detail, something I'm going to focus on when I go out there. So just taking a little piece every single day and just making that right, yeah. We've seen just a couple of these practices. So, I mean, the deep ball that Caleb threw to, Ve to Velas today was one of only a few of those. Like, have you noticed him feeling comfortable testing out his arm, though, throughout, like, OTAs? And um, yeah, he's definitely took his chances and, and throw it. You can see it. Uh, I think he liked to throw it deep, but, um, yeah, I've definitely seen that. Uh, what is What exactly are you asking, my bad? Just about, like, I mean, he's testing a pretty pretty experienced yeah. like, from your experience, has that been a regular thing from him? I mean, he should, you know, like, get the feeling, know what he can and can't do. You know, he's talented, so, you know, he's going he gonna to figure this stuff out. And, uh, you know, it's just all about getting better and trying to get that experience. The same way when I was young and any rookie growing up, you know, you're going to try things and, and feel it and get the experience and kind of know. And so, uh, for him, that's what he's going to do, and he's just going to keep stacking, and I got no doubt he's going to do his thing. Bears, Bears got a lot of attention for adding a bunch of offensive players. Mm -hmm. Caleb, whether it's room, uh, running backs, tight ends, everything. Defensive players think of that. Is, do you view it as a challenge now uh, on the practice field, or, or is it very much a we're all on the same team? Um, I mean, we all. My bad. Uh, yeah, we all on the same team, but like, um, I mean, the draft and looking at all these offensive guys, I mean, it didn't really matter to us. I mean, it does. Like, you know, we want to do that and go crazy, but um, it doesn't affect what we're going to do. We're still going to go out there and, uh, and battle, but, you know, being able to have those pieces that, you know, are going to help sharpen us and make us a better defense and uh, really challenge us and test us, you know, that's what we want. You know, we're not scared of nothing. So whatever we're going to make us better, you know, that's what we want. And uh, I think we've got some pieces all around that are going to sharpen iron the whole entire time. So, yeah. Uh, where, where do you, where do you see the effect of the continuity where you've played with several of these guys in the second and third level of the defense for multiple years now? What about it? Where do you see that show up? Where do you see the benefits of that? Um, kind of when I was talking about like dependability, um, I, I feel like that's where I really see it. Um, knowing like, I feel like trust is just such a big thing. Like just being able to just know like your guy's going to do what he's going to do. And, um, whether that be Jalen or whether that be Tremaine and communications on points, like I don't have to, it's almost just second nature, you know, uh, doing it so many times, but yeah. After you broke your hand, he was saying like, you never really had like fully back 100%. Do you feel like your hand is like back before, like before you broke it? Is it back full, like before? Yeah, it's getting there. It's like, I give it like 90%. I think I'll be good by the season. It's not like, that's nothing concerning me or restricting me or anything. I still pick the ball, do everything, flip. Um, yeah, uh, nah, it's not holding me back at all, but we getting there. Just a little uh, scar tissue, that's it. Tyler, what's it like as a teammate last year when you see Jalen enjoy the breakthrough he was looking for and then you said Jalen? The season he had last year and then getting paid this offseason and getting the stability you saw it. But what, what's that like as a teammate to see a guy enjoy that kind of success? Um, I mean, it's exciting, you know. Like, you know, he's going to bring the success here and keep going. You know, we're going to keep surrounding him and pushing him to, to keep doing what he does and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, all you can do when you see a guy get success and do his thing, you know, is just, you know, keep challenging him. You know, we want to be the best. So, our side of the defense, we're going to keep challenging him and keep pushing him, talking, getting his ear, whatever, whatever going to make him better. You know, you're going to hear us all practice. So, um, I mean, all that stuff is just outside noise. I mean, he is who he is, and uh, he's going to be a good player. You play next to, Ty you play next to Tyreek a lot. Where have you seen his growth and development since he played? Yeah. I say his comfortability, and I feel like that's one thing from the beginning that he's just gotten smarter and more comfortable. And uh, the more comfortable he got to me, the more plays he's made. And, uh, and that happens. You know, being a rookie, you just get your feet, you know, established and stuff like that. So um, Tyreek is a confident dude, and uh, he, he feeling himself. So, he gonna make his plays and I get better and better. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You gotta open the statement. <laughs> I gotta open the statement. Huh?
<laughs> you prepared an opening statement, we'll listen. Just office. like a lot of my homework, I don't do that. Huh? How do you think the office looks so far? Uh, I feel like we're going to have some, having a little rough spots right now. Yeah, we got things we got to get on, like uh, cadence-wise and everything, but uh, that's been pointed out. I mean, we can't uh, not acknowledge it. We all acknowledge it right now, and uh, we're going to definitely get on top of that, but so far, everything else has been great. And with, the, with the cadence, um, it takes a while, but from an offensive lineman standpoint, what is the process of, of learning how Caleb kind of calls things in his voice? Uh, you know, it, it means a lot. I mean, that's what engages us to get off that ball, and that's what's emphasized in this offense. Uh, you know, we communicate to him uh, what we need from him, and he has a lot of things going on. You know, he's he's running the whole offense. But uh, one thing that we always, like, you know, try to tell him is, like, voice louder, emphasize, like, uh, even if we're, like, going on to emphasize that second, like, hut, like, like to make the defense draw off sides, get a free play. And uh, the, those plays that we got last year, you know, that – we got that free touchdown to DJ. You know, that was like on a free play. Like the emphasis on that hut. You know, the defense makes it real, thinks it's real, so to get off. And uh, just communicating to him that uh, those voice inflections are very important and everything. This might sound dumb, but, like, obviously you guys are practicing that, hearing him out on the field. Is that stuff that's also going on in the classroom of, like, just, like, straight-up vocal exercises for you to hear what it sounds like? Uh, yeah. We uh, we do walkthroughs in the so indoor area and uh, just working on uh, – Cadences, and I mean, we have we have like one of the best move teams on the like the whole NFL. Like Billings is probably top top voice of doing that, and he's got he's got us a lot. And that's one thing that we got to get better at. And uh, the one thing we always do is uh, in the ITC, what we do is try to imitate that move call with him doing his regular cadence. How do you, how do you do that? Sorry, sorry. How do you? Want me yelling? Just yelling at him? No, you want me to yell, no, you want me to yell yeah. like Billings? What does it sound like? Move! And then, <laughs> and then you get back into the cadence. And you try to, like, you try to say ready, like, and then Billings yell, move! And then you try to, like, not jump off sides and get used to him, hearing him back there getting loud. So, what's the dynamic offensively of kind of collectively recalibrating patience with the rookie quarterback, understanding that some of these rough spots are just inevitable and you're just going to have to endure them for a little bit? You know, yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, it's football, you know, the new face, new guy. I mean, he's coming in from college. You know, it's going to be a little, a little different for him. And then, uh, you know, I have all, all the confidence he's going to get it down very quick. I mean, he's a quick learner. So, uh, you know, there's always that patience in anybody. I mean, new offense, new playbook, new city. I mean, there's a lot of things going on for him right now. So, you're, you're what, entering the, what's your mind? What's your mindset entering this year? You know, last year, your contract, everything you've got. Uh, years, what's going on? I said this year, uh, stay healthy. Um, that's number one. That's number one most, uh, most importance for me right now. Uh, stay healthy, get through the whole 17 games, and uh, continue my strong play from last year and be a more consistent, reliable guy. Have you guys talked to Bears about an extension yet? Uh, we reached out, yeah. Uh, none's on the table. How do you feel? Where do you feel things stand between you and the administration about having a future here? Uh, up in the air. Can't tell you. What, what's your, your you talk about the way you played last year? What what's that done for your confidence level? Like, um, it shows me that you know I can still be a top ten guard, left guard, right guard. Here, play week five, week six over there. I mean, it shows that I'm be uh, I can be versatile, and uh, it shows that uh, I'm confident in myself. You talked about with the cadence being the the one kind of big issue that you guys are working on. Does that put you guys in a good place, being if that's the biggest issue? And I, I, it's a legit issue. Exactly. But does it put you in a good place? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the little thing, like the minute details of that being their, our biggest problem, I mean, that's that means we're in a good spot right now. What's it like going against this defense right now? Like you guys know, it's top five defense in the NFL. I mean, they're hard. They're uh, false. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're just the top five defense. I mean, they do everything great. I mean, from TJ to uh, – we got Byron back there now. Uh, yeah, Montez. I mean, the whole the whole defense is amazing. I mean, that's what they do. They go get out to the quarterback. Uh, it's really good for us because trying to improve our play and we're going against that type of defense, and top five defense, it's going to also elevate us too. I was, I was, I was talking about the flexibility that y'all have on the interior with Bates and Sheldon and Nate. 
Obviously, that'll work itself out once the pass come on. But any talk about you going to the right side and playing next to Darnell full time? Uh, as of right now, no. Not at all. Does the defense talk too much? <laughs> <laughs> we compete. How about that? That's what we do. That's what we do. That's all, that's all I can say right now. Now, what, what have your impressions uh, been of Caleb, just as both as a player and just as a person? Uh, great competitor. Uh, a guy who's willing to absorb all knowledge, no matter what facet he's doing in life. And uh, just great overall dude. You know, I, I met him at uh, dinner, and he's, he met my daughter. You know, he was nice. He met my wife, everybody. He's just shaking hands, you know. And uh, it was really nice of him to, like, go out of his way to, like, we were having dinner off to the side, and he came over there. He came over and said hi to us because we're like, we don't want to bother Caleb. I mean, he's here having his own dinner. He came over, said hi to my wife, like to make it introduce, introduce my wife and everything. And uh, I thought that was really cool of him. So uh, he, I feel like he's a great dude and earned my respect off that too. Where did he go? Harry's, right here in Burnham Hills. Tevin, you mentioned yeah, Tevin, cold, cold discount. <laughs> this team has been open to rewarding players, their own players with the contract extensions, a bunch of guys last year, for example. What kind of motivator is that, seeing guys like Cole and Jalen who've gotten – been in this building and been rewarded with that long-term stability? Um, I mean, it's it's good to see that stuff, you know, that uh, Bears are willing to do that. But, uh, you know, it's every situation is different. And uh, we got to go about, me and my agent got to go about however however the, the upstairs wants to do it as well. How was you and DeMarcus kind of in the middle of that little dress up yesterday? I know he's very, what would you say, competitive? Right, but is it more frustrating for y'all that the that the that the D line is so competitive even before y'all get to get on pads where y'all can really put hands on them like that? Well, I mean, yeah, it's a little fr it's a little frustrating, you know. Uh, well, the thing is, you know, we don't have pads on. There's nothing much for us to grab compared to them. They can do a lot of other moves and power moves that we really can't counter as much right now, and uh, so it's going to be a lot of chirping. That's what it is. Just, you're in the you're on the O line D line. So what's going to go on? But um, uh, just as it keeps going on, you know, we're uh, trying to fine tune each other. And if it needs to be like he's just power rush, bull, bull, bull rush, it's going to make me better for tomorrow. So, uh, as much as I hate it today, it's going to make me better tomorrow. Training uh, regimen, has there. your training regimen changed at all this offseason? I know you've experimented with a lot, like adding new things the last couple of years. Have you done any of that, or is it still the same? Uh, as of right now, it's mostly the same. And, uh, other than adding a few golf lessons here and there, I mean, that's about it. Were you at Top Golf the other night with Caleb? I was not, because we had that Strawberry Creek thing on Thursday. So I was like, hey, I ain't trying to get all my good swings out, so I got to make sure I'm good for there. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.